This body of work is an exploration of my experience as a woman in a female body with its power and also its subjugation, with its traumas and sexual assaults, its resistance to the male gaze and its refusal of objectification. It was influenced by my own journey as a young girl, as a daughter, as a mother and a wife, as a friend, and also as a spiritual seeker. I delved into the male fantasy of female beauty and the male perspective of the feminine. I gave myself permission to reimagine history and myth from the feminine perspective and to reclaim and reinvent my own experiences from the vantage point of an adult. There was discomfort and it felt very vulnerable. There were literally screams emerging. But eventually I arrived at places of real freedom and joy and compassion. It felt as if I was no longer painting for myself, but for many women. And I want to share this with other people so that they can actually connect with it, relate to it, and potentially be moved, touched, inspired by my experience and my ability to be vulnerable. People know the myth about Medusa, but just very little about it. This piece wound up being just like honoring of this diva. You know, she's often painted as this ugly monster, but here she's gorgeous. And I have Perseus in the corner crying and throwing up, and she's got all the power. I've been meditating for over 20 years and I meditated daily before entering the studio. I work with live models and drew inspiration from my collected photographs, objects from nature, and also spiritual texts. I like movement. I like movement in my pieces. And so a lot of times you'll see two sets of eyes, four arms. I leave the history of a piece. Nothing is static. Everything is in constant flux, constant change. And so there's an arm that comes here. Maybe there's another arm that, that's coming in and an arm that's reaching for something. The eyes are looking one way and also looking another way. I don't like to just cover over what's been there before. I like to honor what was painted originally. And so I always leave a little bit of history so often my paintings wind up having eight to ten layers, allowing for it all to sort of blend and mix together. I like it when things are a little messy. I layer images, I delved into the fantastic and allowed figures to distort and emote. I developed the visual equivalent of my emotional and spiritual states. I believe there is an energy that connects and moves through each of us. And I paint to touch that energy and its universal truths.